Hello. Did you know that King Kong won three Oscar awards? In 2005, Peter Jackson co-wrote, produced, and directed the colossal action monster movie King Kong. It is the eighth installment of the King Kong series and the second remake of the 1976 version of the 1933 movie of the same name. Adrian Brody, Jack Black, Naomi Watts, and Andy Serkis all appear in the movie. The film's main character is an ambitious director who forces his actors and a ship crew to visit the enigmatic Skull Island in 1933. In addition to the fabled Kong, a huge gorilla that they manage to catch and transport to New York City, they come across a dinosaur-like animal there. This tale was recounted once again in the 1970s and once more in the 2000s. Given that it is directed by a man who just completed one of the largest film series ever and won a significant Oscar, we're here to concentrate on the latter. Naturally, we are referring to Peter Jackson. If you want to know more about this, then stay with us until the end of the video. Also, before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe and comment so that you can watch as many new videos from the channel. And let's get started. Here are some interesting unknown facts about King Kong. Number one, the name's etymology. In the film's history, there are certain names that are just simply right. King Kong has the same seriousness as the characters with names like James Bond, Indiana Jones, and Luke Skywalker, evoking feelings of aggression, strength, and control. It took the film's creators some time to come up with anything so fantastic, despite the fact that King Kong is now a household name. When Miriam C. Cooper set out to write the first draft of King Kong, the title was just simply referred to as The Beast. Officials from the RKO complained about the general title, which was then altered to Jungle Bee since its production firm also thought the initial pick lacked imagination. Due to Cooper's fixation with things that started with the letter K, it was later changed to Kong. However, since docudrama titles are frequently one word, King was added to the monster's name entirely because the producers were worried that the viewers would think that the movie was a docudrama. Instead of just referring to him as the Beast, audiences all throughout the world remember him as King Kong. Number 2. The King Kong Cast Following is a list of the original King Kong movies cast. Sam Hardy performs the part of Charles Weston. Frank Riker plays Captain Englehorn. Noble Johnson plays the Native Chief. Victor Wong plays the role of Charlie. Robert Armstrong performs the role of Carl Denham. Steve Clement plays the Witch King. Bruce Cabot portrays John Jack Driscoll. Fay Ray portrays Anne Darrow. Everett Brown, a native dressed as an ape. Number 3. The Building of Kong Gorillas have intrigued Marianne C. Cooper since he was a little child. While filming The Four Feathers in Africa, he came upon a family of baboons, which gave him the idea to make a movie about primates. While crafting his plot, he came up with the idea that the gorilla in this film would be enormous and would participate in aerial warfare atop the Empire State Building. Willis O'Brien, a stop-motion animator, was hired to build the model in order to help realize his idea, but it took them several iterations before they were both satisfied. Cooper despised O'Brien's initial models because they looked too much like humans, Cooper conveyed to O'Brien his desire for Kong to be ferocious, monstrous, and vicious, and provided his animator with the specifications of a bull gorilla that he had obtained from the American Museum of Natural History. Number 4. Jackson cherished the original King Kong film. When Jackson was 9 years old, he saw the 1933 version of King Kong for the first time. It was Jackson's favorite film and a major inspiration for his desire to pursue a career in movies. The 1990s saw significant advancements in the movie's production. Jackson and his wife, Fran Walsh, who was also his producing and writing partner, got to work on the King Kong script. The movie was finished in 1996, and Universal approved it. Jackson started looking for actors to play Andaro, even visiting Kate Winslet, who had previously played a role for him in the movie Heavenly Creatures. After being filmed in 1997, the film was slated for a release in summer of 1998. Number 6. The making of the movie was halted. 1997 arrived. Universal made a sudden decision. The Godzilla movie would be released. At the same time, a movie about a large ape called Mighty Joe Young was made. And Planet of the Apes, which wouldn't hit theaters until 2001, was well underway for work. Universal put the project on hold due to concerns about the saturation of the current market. 
Number 7. Andy Serkis had two responsibilities. Naturally, Serkis portrayed Kong. He's known as the king of motion capture acting thanks to his performance as Gollum in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. In King Kong, Serkis plays Lumpy, a seaman of the SS Venture. Nevertheless, he also does live-action roles. Number 8. The script was substantially written by Jackson and Walsh, who also engaged Philip Aboyans, a Lord of the Rings screenwriter, to work on King Kong. Originally, they wanted to rewrite the script from 1996. Jackson would, however, swiftly grow disinterested in his 1996 iteration. The three decided to begin again, and for this project, they were motivated by writing from the 1933 original. Number 9. Jackson was able to get the actors he wanted. Jackson could have gotten what he needed for King Kong by using his connections from Lord of the Rings. His original choice of actors are included here. Director Peter Jackson selected all three actors, Adrian Brody, Jack Black, and Naomi Watts, for the film's principal human acting roles. Number 10. Circus did a lot of guerrilla research. Circus worked a lot on King Kong. After the filming was over, he spent an additional two months performing Kong's motions for the Department of Digital Animation. It required two hours each day to set him up for his motion capture job. To further prepare for the movie, he also studied wild gorillas in Rwanda, in addition to spending time with gorillas at the London Zoo. Number 11. The movie production was really expensive. King Kong was never going to be inexpensive, believe me. The initial spending plan was a sizable $150 million. The movie, however, ended up costing $207 million when all was said and done. That made it the most costly movie ever at the time. The planned running duration of the movie increased from 135 minutes to 200 minutes. Number 12. Universal was so impressed by what they were seeing, they gave their approval to everything. The investment made by Universal was profitable. An additional $60 million was reportedly spent on marketing in addition to $270 million for the budget. Therefore, the movie needed to earn more than $267 million to generate profit. Jackson, of course, had no issues. His film finished as the fifth highest grossing film of 2005 with a global total of $562.3 million. Number 13. It received three Oscars. Unlike Return of the King, King Kong didn't sweep in the Academy Awards, but it was a technical triumph. The movie received four Oscar nominations and three awards. These awards were given for Best Visual Effects, Best Sound Editing, and Best Sound Mixing. Number 14. Cartoon Kong King Kong is one of the most well-known cinematic symbols of all time. But Kong has also experimented with other art forms. The first television animation featuring the eighth wonder of the world dates back to 1966, The King Kong Show. In the animated series, the well-known gorilla battled other enormous creatures, robots, aliens, and crazy scientists while traveling on numerous adventures with the human family. With Kong, the animated series, which portrays a cloned Kong with human DNA spliced in, he made his second animated appearance in 2000. The 40-episode Fox Kids television series also included the straight-to-DVD films Kong, King of Atlantis, and Kong Return to the Jungle. Kong's most recent animated series, Kong, King of Apes, debuted on Netflix exclusively last year and is set in the year 2050 with Kong being hunted as a fugitive for damaging a valuable museum. Number 15. A sequel was planned, but it was never released. Jackson planned to make the Skull Island prequel to King Kong in 2013. He even chose Adam Wingard as the film's director after being intrigued by his horror movie, You're Next. The rights to produce a King Kong movie, however, belonged to Warner Brothers, which complicated matters. These issues contributed to the sequel's failures. In the end, Kong, Skull Island by Warner Brothers, gave the character a fresh start. The Godzilla vs. King Kong sequel was made after that film. Who directed that film? Nobody else but Wingard. The biggest movie star currently is King Kong. For more than a century, King Kong has served as a cultural icon, developing from a stop-motion model to a super beast with digital enhancements. Whether he's destroying an enemy T-Rex or crashing an aircraft out of the sky, the huge ape has captured the attention of audiences for entire generations. 
And that is it for today. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you can be notified for as many new videos as possible. Thanks for watching.